Now to answer the first part of this question, I feel that it's good to draw a Venn diagram, even though they ask us to draw a Venn diagram in the second part. And what I've done here is I've got my two regions, one for students reading quality newspapers and the other region here with an overlap for those that read tabloid newspapers. In the overlap here this represents the proportion of students that read both newspapers. Now we're told that 40% do not read a newspaper so that means that the proportion then on the end here we can put in here is 0.4 for 40%. That means that both these regions must now add up to 60% or 0.6. Now, since we don't know what proportion read both newspapers, let's call that X. Now, we know that 25% read the quality newspaper. So that means that the proportion that just read the quality newspaper must be 0.25 minus this intersection value of x. 0.25 minus x for this region then. We're also told that 45% read the tabloid newspaper so that means that this region here must be 0.45 minus x. This is the region then that only represents students who just read the tabloid newspaper. Okay, so we've got to find x. We now create an equation because we know that these three regions must add up to 60% or 0.6. So what we've got then is we can set up an equation by adding these three regions up. That would be 0.25 minus x plus x here and then plus 0.45 minus x or 5 minus x there, it's got to equal 60% or 0.6. If we simplify this on the left, we end up with 0.7 minus x equals 0.6. And if we rearrange this for x, we find that x equals 0.7 minus 0.6, which is 0.1. So therefore, what we've got is that the proportion okay, of students who read both newspapers, let's just, who read both newspapers equals 0.1. All right, and that brings us now to the end of the first part of the question.